Apollo 5. In 1968, Apollo 5 was the first uncrewed flight of the Apollo Lunar Module. At Marshall, the booster for the fourth flight vehicle underwent two successful static firings, the first on January 17th, the second on January 21st. The Saturn IB worked. Now it was up to NASA to figure out if the Lunar Module was safe for human flight. The Lunar Module that in just a few years would bring the first man to the moon. But the road to liftoff? It was anything but smooth. And on top of that, Grumman Aircraft, a manufacturer, had many setbacks on the development of the lunar module. Supply hiccups, design tweaks, and the sheer complexity of building a craft to survive the void of space. The Saturn IV rocket, its backbone, was a beast of its own, assembled in stages with a lunar module tucked away on top and its eight roaring engines were tuned to hurl this lunar pioneer into orbit. This wasn't just a joyride, it was a meticulously crafted test flight. NASA's goal? Simple, yet audacious, launch the lunar module into Earth orbit, put it through its paces, and confirm it could handle the real deal. Apollo 5 was delayed many times due to safety concerns from the devastating Apollo 1 fire. Roger, best call. Okay, go ahead and reload. Flight CVTS, flight 2, verify your go for launch. Roger, we are go for launch. Okay, all flight controllers, let's play it cool. Launch came on January 22nd, 1968. 14, 13, 12, 11, Finally, after years of work and countless delays, the countdown begins. For two and a half minutes, those first stage engines burn hard, pushing the stack to 42 miles up and a speed of 3,500 miles per hour. The spent first stage drops away, tumbling back to Earth. The adapter panels, peel away like petals on a steel flower. Once the spacecraft reached orbit the lunar module separated and orbital testing began. But, the spacecraft was not going fast enough. This caused the Apollo guidance computer to automatically abort an engine burn. Mission Control in Houston quickly moved to an alternate mission to maximize science of the lunar module. But something goes wrong. Instead of the full 38-second burn, the engine shuts down after only 4 seconds. An early look at the data indicates the onboard computer did not allow for the tolerances and errors within this most complex of all missions. I guess our best plan here, and I think the way we're going to go, go ahead, is alternate Charlie. Go ahead. In the attitude you've got, go ahead. At 6.15 elapsed, go ahead. Okay. The results? All of the mission testing goals for the lunar module were accomplished. The mission was successful enough to cancel a second test, and ultimately advancing NASA's mission to the moon. The purpose of the Apollo 5 mission was to initiate the series of flight tests that will ultimately qualify the lunar module for its part in the lunar landing mission. The important uh, features of the mission were operation of the descent propulsion system, and specifically it was started, stopped, throttled, twice, and during the last burn of the des descent propulsion system, the ascent propulsion engine was fired to stage the upper stage of the lunar module away from the descent stage, simulating an abort uh, commanded by an astronaut uh, uh, approaching the lunar surface. Then the ascent engine was burned twice, the first time for about one minute and the second time for a total of six and a half minutes. The objectives of the mission uh, were achieved and it was very successful 
uh, and fulfilled its part in the series of missions that constitute uh, the steps in getting to the moon. Thanks for watching.